Uh, now to turn to the uh, news of the week. Um, currently, I guess the, the main news story being dominated is another, uh, you know, horrible police murder, uh, the Tyree Nichols uh, case in, in Memphis. Uh, Members of the elite Memphis Scorpion unit uh, beat a man to death and have now they've been charged with second degree murder, but uh, really, really bad. Wait a minute. The Scorpion unit did that? <laughs> yeah. That doesn't sound like them. I mean, it's just it, it, it seems it is uh, indicative of like whether it's uh, the, the Scorpion gang or the gun trace task force or the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, who you know, are just actual gangs. They, they give themselves gang names and it's like this sort of. A uh, new innovation in law enforcement where they give elite units, not special victims units, but special victim creating units that like basically act as death squads in quote unquote high crime areas. But I mean, just a further indication that uh, the police in this country or at least the, uh, the, the police in this country are a gang. They, they behave like a gang and we are all subject to them. But I, I just like to turn now. I mean, like, look, what, what are we going to do about the cops in this country? It's 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 a terrible uh situation that we find ourselves in but i just want to i want to bring uh, bring our attention to one possible solution uh courtesy of one matthew iglesias who um over to his slow slow boring substack this weekend in response to the uh, murder of tyree nichols has a very good idea for how to how to reform law enforcement in this country i'm just gonna read from his uh i'm, I'm not gonna do the title because that would give it away he just says I mentioned in a mailbag, but I think part of the strategy for police reform in the United States should be a police for America program modeled on the teach for America. In other words, an initiative funded by donors who care about both crime control and social justice to recruit relatively high performing graduates of selective colleges and place them for a few years as police officers in high crime, high poverty cities. I've heard proposals to try to make police departments function more like the military, which is a distinct entry point for people who to do investigative or patrol work. But while I think there's a certain logic to these proposals, that's not what I have in mind here. So, Matt Iglesias is doing the Ivy League version of Police Academy Citizens on Patrol. So, Ken Griffin, (laughs) this is pretty straightforward. Ken Griffin uh, and other people who fund Teach for America are now going to pay for um, a bunch of ambitious 23-year-olds would-be Buttigieg's to uh, go around America to communities like Memphis and Jacksonville, places on the south side of Chicago, and tell suspects all about the situationists before they shoot them <laughs> 78 times. <laughs> I, I love the idea that there's these the people, their cops, or the, these donors. They love social justice, and they love uh, stopping crime, just like all those teach for America donors who were very interested in something other than breaking uh, teachers unions. Like that's the, not the only reason they fucking funded it in the first place. I don't think they really have the same interest in getting rid of police unions. Uh, I mean, maybe they do, you know, they want to do it like a cost cutting thing, but uh, if they were to pull this off, that would really be all they would accomplish. Well, I think Although Matt, I do I think love the great. idea of, of, of a bunch of uh, like little, uh, Harvard dorks showing up uh, with their gun. I think it would go well. I like the <laughs> I idea. Like- of the, I like the idea of the shield, but exclusively with grad students. <laughs> they blackmail. They blackmail Aceveda by showing him sleeping with an undergrad with a three-year age gap. <laughs> this is on you for the rest of your life. <laughs> I think this is uh, a couple things going on here. It's like one. Uh, Matt, you're right. I think I think Iglesias has sort of uh, reverse engineered an effective strategy for defunding police unions is uh, replacing cops with uh, yeah grad students. Or I think it's also in his brain. I think he's just sort of like, oh, there are people who are interested in law enforcement and social justice. And no one who goes to Harvard could be evil. It's just the, the line about select universities. It's just like, yeah, the, was the Teacher best America people. drawing? For, the yeah. Best <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, Teach for America, I kind of, um, it, it's sort of what you do when you, you're you below a Buttigieg level, when there are no McKinsey yeah. offers after you get out. That's sort of like, it's the last ditch effort for the ambitious, but uh, not intelligent. And also, like, uh, these Teach for America uh, jobs, like, they, they're not meant to be careers. Like, I mean, it's like, you know it's like jury duty. They do. I think like most of them do like two or three years at most. So like it could be a high turnover for, for cops under the Iglesias regime. 
I, that that is like the religious faith he has in in credential type kids, people who go to these schools, people who do a lot of extracurriculars in high school. He honestly thinks that that makes you like a superhuman because yes, this would be high turnover. There'd be no, they would be out of there after like a year, just like in teach for America. So how the hell could they do any like long, actually meaningful uh, impact? Well, just their very presence. It wouldn't matter that they're just throwing in new ones every year. Just their, the aura of the fact that they like did a science bear volcano uh, is enough to <laughs> just make all the, all the, all the thugs just part like the fucking red sea at their, their arrival. And, you know, like, I mean, we, we've covered this before on this show. Uh, you know, just just last week we talked about constitutional sheriff's departments who are, you know, <laughs> claiming for themselves more authority than the president to ignore laws and overturn elections. You've got um, literal gangs who are like, you know, uh, administering ink to their gang members based on the number of bodies they collect. I'm sure these people would be thrilled to have uh, <laughs> a bunch of uh, like little Iglesias is waddling into police departments. I mean, to, you know, uh, to clean up the culture around police unions. Yeah, that'll go I love, well. I, I love the idea, too, in, like, cities that do have, like, an actual gang problem. Like, the gang members being like, uh, do, do you hear about the new beat cops on our street? They, 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 were, they were in the Hasty Puddings Club. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to dump our cells immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would lead to a culture of fragging in police office departments. Yeah. Which, yeah. So, high time for some of that. It <laughs> yeah. may solve a lot of existing problems. Uh, but yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, what are you going to do about these fucking cops, man? Like, it's just, uh, I mean, like, this, this is coming on the heels of that, that guy in L.A. they tased to death. Uh, that dude in Atlanta that was killed. The whole cop city thing. And then this Tyree Nichols thing is just like. Uh, ab abominable, just unspeakable level of evil going yeah. on there, just beating a guy to death. And with this, uh, with Tyree Nichols, um, these cops specifically, they are the result of the previous solution that it, Iglesias and Iglesias types offered, which was like more training and money. These guys did get more training and money. More training and money doesn't mean anything when you can't meaningfully like get in trouble for breaking the law. Like that and, is really uh, the heart of it. And uh, Felix, do you know where the Memphis Police Department's training came from? Uh, a certain country. Oh, <laughs> a certain oh, foreign oh, country. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah, no, like, yeah, no, yeah. Like, they, they worked with Israel. And, like, and, like, and that's not an accident because like, this model of law enforcement is basically how yeah, to do counterinsurgency. Yeah, active occupation. Well, <sighs> at, least, at least those guys were charged with murder. I mean, what, what, what can you even say about this shit? But... Uh, I wish Iglesias the best of luck on this, the, the, the slow and boring task of uh, reforming America's police departments. I mean, like his whole attitude, though, is that like they just need more funding because like in order for it to be a high quality service, it needs to be more professionalized. And I, I've seen I've seen a couple of different variations on on that uh, tack for this latest uh, police murder is that like. These uh, unaccountable death squads that we're sending out when giving free license to kill people in high crime neighborhoods, um, they just need to be more professional. They should be a little less, a little less, uh, I don't know, have a, a, little, a fewer skull, skull paraphernalia uh, on their unit, or I don't know, maybe they should try reading a book sometime. That's the thing, but, th th but those type of people don't want that job. They're not going to, they're not going to accept that not. job. They, they don't want to do it. Like, that's the whole thing, is that the culture that makes you nice uh, uh, civilized, uh, professional manager type person who is going to like do such a great job on the streets of our cities, uh, hypothetically, they, they don't want to fucking have a gun and, 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 and be in those and, and constantly be in conflict with people. Their entire professional culture is about diffusing and, and denying any actual conflict with another human being. That's why they created HR departments. You can't call in the HR supervisor when some guy is freaking out in front of a 7-Eleven and you got to deal with them. And you know, you're the, you're, that's your job. You have to actually deal with a conflict. No, I got my fucking degree so I can never have a conflict with another human being. That being said, though, I'd imagine for like, I don't know, let's just say some small potential cadre of Harvard philosophy majors who want to become, you know... <laughs> <laughs> do 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 like a, a rip and run Vic Mackey style shit on the streets of America's most dangerous uh, neighborhoods. The thing is, though, like 
it doesn't matter. In fact, like the education that you receive and the background that you come from, like I'm sure Matt thinks that would make it, it certainly makes you less inclined to get a job in law enforcement. But I guarantee you that anyone who does get this job and then is given that level of authority would abuse it just as quickly, if not more viciously than uh, other other people from different backgrounds. Well, he wants Dalton from Roadhouse to become a cop. That's it. <laughs> Be nice. Be nice. But that guy, the thing about that guy is that he's not real. He's in a movie. And there basically has never been a guy like that. It's made up. I used to fuck guys like that in prison. <laughs> I want you to remember that it's a job. It's nothing personal. Uh-huh. Being called a cocksucker in personal? No. It's two nouns combined to elicit a prescribed response. I wonder if somebody calls my mama a whore. <laughs> Is she? 